Hi, I'm Robin Bensley. Welcome to Chow Time. My friend Elizabeth is having a birthday tomorrow, and so I am going to make her a very special cake. also loves mascarpone cheese, so this will be perfect. So first, we're going to make the cake. Now, I'm just going to start with a regular old box of white cake mix. Put it in a big bowl. And then we're going to add a few things. We're going to add four eggs. cup of vegetable oil, one cup of sour cream, which will make it extra moist and creamy, one cup of Cabernet. You can also use Merlot or any other kind of red wine, but I just like the sound of Cabernet cake. And then finally, a teaspoon of good vanilla extract. Then we're just going to blend everything with an electric mixer. I've got two 8 inch uh, cake pans that I've prepared with a little flour and a little butter and so I'm going to divide these evenly. Now there are two things that my grandmother taught me, and one is never taste raw cake dough, especially when it has eggs in it, because it's bad for you. You know that wine adds such a nice flavor to this cake. And the other thing she taught me was, if you drop the cake like that, kind of hard, you see the air bubbles come up and pop and you'll have a more moist cake. And these go in a 350 degree oven for about 30, 35 minutes. These are done. So I'm going to set them on a wire rack. Look at the color that the Cabernet turns the cake, it's a beautiful lavender color. So we're going to let these cool down completely because you know what happens when you try and frost a warm cake. Okay, these are almost fully cooled. So I'm going to go ahead and make the mocha mascarpone frosting. I have one and a half cups of cold, heavy whipping cream. And we're going to Beat this until it's stiff. Okay, when it's at this point where it's just starting to stiffen up, I'm going to slowly add seven tablespoons of sugar, which is a little less than a half a cup. I'm going to add a couple more things. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. Two tablespoons of cocoa powder. And two tablespoons of instant espresso powder. and we'll quickly blend that in. And finally, we're going to fold in a pound of mascarpone cheese. Now, mascarpone cheese is like really creamy cream cheese. And it comes from the Lombardi 
part of Italy, and uh, it was created in the late 16th century. And of course, this is the one of the main in ingredients in tiramisu, and Italians like to just spread this on bread and eat it too. It's really good. So we're going to quickly fold that in. My grandmother also told me that when you lick the frosting off the beaters, there's no calories in it. Mm. This frosting is amazing. The cake is ready for frosting. So we'll put some in the middle. I'll put the top on like that. And I always make plenty of frosting because there's nothing worse than a thinly frosted cake. And I like to take a wet paper towel Just clean up the sides. And I am not much of a cake decorator, but I'm going to finish it off with some white chocolate chips just to make it look pretty. Now I'm going to store it in the refrigerator until Elizabeth's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday to you. Oh, look at Happy that. Happy birthday to wow. you. It's a new one? Guess what kind of cake it is? Well, you can't. what I said. No, I cannot. It is a Cabernet cake with a mocha mascarpone frosting. Oh, wow. Look at, oh, look look at, at the Cabernet. Look at how it is. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Okay. Very nice. Take a bite. Okay. Tell me what you think. Frosting first. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. That frosting, unbelievable. The cake is very, very good. Well, happy birthday.